yes, unfortunately, we, we were not surprised. I mean, uh, if you look at the essence of what uh, Obama just did in the United Nations, uh, then I think people should be surprised. I mean, you, you take an American president uh, that goes against American policy for, for, for decades, goes against the entire Congress. I mean, if you look just a month ago, he had 88 senators out of 100 that sent him a letter saying, do not do it, do not take unilateral actions in the United Nations. Um, the House of Representatives, the, the American people all said the same thing, and still uh, um, he went and did the exact opposite in the Security Council. So I think, yes, I think if, if, this, w if, if this was a normal world, then we should have been surprised. Uh, unfortunately, this is not a surprise. Uh, we, we, we knew it was coming. Uh, we knew that this was something that was uh, cooking uh, toward the end of the Obama administration. And unfortunately, now we, we would have to deal with the consequences. I think it's, uh, I think it's too early to say. I mean, the, the resolution was not uh, taken under Chapter 7, which means the resolution is binding under international law, but rather under Chapter 6, uh, which is not a binding resolution. Uh, but still, the Security Council is something different. It's not the General Assembly. It's not UNESCO. It's not other entities. It has a different saying in the world uh, shaping the discourse in the international community. Uh, I think it's too early to say. Uh, first of all, the good news, like I said, it's not binding, so we cannot, you know, we should not expect a complete uh, radicalization of the, the discourse, let's say, tomorrow morning. Uh, but I'm, I'm confident that will make things harder for us. I mean, this it, it kind of puts a stamp on the fact that uh, we are occupiers, we're violating of uh, international law, that the very uh, existence of a Jew in uh, East Jerusalem, in, in, in the holy sites of Jerusalem, in Judea and Samaria, is illegal. Um, I think this really goes to demonstrate what the United Nations today really is. I mean, if you think about the United Nations, it was established after World War II, trying to prevent the horrors of that war, you know, uh, keep world peace, to protect human rights. All these beautiful things are written in the Charter. But uh, today you have a majority of countries which are not democratic, actually even ridicule those notions of democracy and human rights. And those countries are the majority of the United Nations. Uh, so they make today, they make uh, a resolution that says that a, a Jew cannot live in these areas that are his uh, uh, historical uh, lands, or not even just a piece of land anywhere in the world. To say that this is Judenreich, that this is, should be free of Jews, any Jew living there is violating international law, I mean, then it doesn't take uh, a genius to understand what really motivates these type of uh, decisions today in the UN. Do you think uh, Barack Obama maybe taken a uh, revenge against Israel? Listen, I'm not a psychologist and I'm not an anthropologist or uh, whatever. I, uh, there are other specialists that, that, that will maybe try to determine that. All I know is uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's, a very, um, it, it's very radical to take such a step, you know, in the lame duck period, like I said before, against, you know, the will of the people, the will of Congress, and, uh, you know, decades of uh, American uh, policy. So it, it, it had a reason. I'm, I'm not sure it's a good one. Uh, if, you, if you understand uh, fully the fact that the United Nations, unfortunately, is a political entity. It's driven by political agendas. If you look again at who's the majority, who runs the United Nations, if you look at the at the blocks of, of nations working together, protecting each other, then you understand everything. That answers all the questions. It answers why uh, Syria is not condemned in the in the United Nations. Again, there is a block. There is a there is a political reason not to do it, not to go forward with it. Why Russia is not condemned by the, the United Nations? Well, Russia can veto any decision in the Security Council. I mean, everything makes sense if you understand the structure, the political structure of this organization. Also explains why Israel is, you know, uh, uh, the number one scapegoat uh, by far uh, in this entity. Because again, we don't have that block. We don't have the Arab block. We don't, we're not Russia. And uh, it's very, very easy to take uh, uh, these decisions to appease, let's say, the Arab block or uh, other countries uh, at the expense of Israel. And you think uh, the new president, uh, Donald Trump, is going to change uh, anything, like he say? 
uh, again, psychologists and, uh, and, and other specialists, I will tell you that uh, I believe that the right thing to do uh, at this point is to understand that there was an inherent uh, flaw in uh, the foundations of the United Nations to create a democratic entity and not to have any uh, rules or regulations or anyone to enforce the basic principles or the basic charters. I mean, you establish a, a democratic entity with the majority of countries that are not democratic it's a problem. If we look at any other organization, any guild, even other international organization like the World Trade Organization, for example, in order to become a member of the WTO, of the World Trade Organization, you have to jump through all kinds of hoops and you have to uh, change the laws in your country, trade, change trade regulations, all kinds of stuff in order to uh, qualify to be accepted into the organizations. And then, of course, if you violate something later down the line, they kick you out. So the same thing should be established in a new international entity that is truly about peace and human rights and democracy and you have to be you have to qualify you have to be accepted in and i think maybe this is the change that i think is way overdue to the world i mean if you look at the world now wars terrorism hatred incitement it's all going it's all getting worse and worse i think we really need an, an international entity that is really about those things and if and this is my opinion this is how yeah, we should actually proceed in doing this i i, I already suggested it to uh, my friends in congress and i plan on continuing to do that uh once the new administration uh, begins <laughs>